Hello everyone, today we're going to hang a turkey in the Gateway Drum Smoker. Grab your bourbon, we're going to have a great time. Hello everyone, I'm Jay Amsbaugh. I'm the pitmaster for the Qgasm professional barbecue team out of Mystic Island, New Jersey. Today we're going to hang a turkey in the Gateway Drum Smoker. Uh, this is a 13 pound turkey, it's pretty generic, it's a grocery store brand. Uh, we're going to inject this with my own secret ingredient. I've been doing this for over 10 years. The family always loves to come and eat my turkey every year. Um, it's always a big thing, to everybody checking to make sure I'm making the turkey. So what we do to inject the turkey is we use this. This is Kitchen Basics Turkey Stock. I take four of these and reduce it down to three cups. There's nothing added, nothing else. It's just heavily concentrated, pure turkey flavor. Um, really does wonderful things to the meat because, tur as we all know, turkey's a little bit bland. And this has been my favorite injection for over 10 years now. Um, we've got the turkey here. I've cut off the extra skin here at the back. A lot of times you're going to see a piece of plastic in here to hold the legs together. I pulled that out because we're going to be hanging this down in the drum smoker. Trim the extra skin up here. Uh, the giblets in the neck are all pulled out. Uh, those are all good eats too, so don't get rid of them. Um, and when we finish the turkey here today, we're going to give you a nice beauty shot at the end. And since people here don't tend to eat as much dark meat, I'm going to save the legs and wings and we're going to make some collard greens with those. So a lot of places I know people don't seem to want to eat legs anymore. It, collard greens is a great thing to make with that and we'll show you those later on. So the first thing we're going to do after we keep drinking some bourbon believe me if you're working down in a nice rustic TV studio like we are a little extra bourbon is going to help, especially today because it's 46 degrees here in Mystic Island. Now you can use whatever kind of injector you like. I'm using something called a spit jack. It's a gun type. There's a lot of different injectors out there. Um, normally I, I want to inject the legs first. No particular reason, just that I like to do this. And you can put plenty of this in. You'll see some of it drip out, but that's fine. Um, so you, you've got three cups of injection, so there's going to be plenty there. Get this injected nice and deep, all over. He says some of it will run out. That's, there's no problem with that. And you are going to see it balloon up a little bit. Uh, we do put a little bit in the wings. And if you have any in extra injection left over, don't worry. It helps make a great gravy. We'll give you a gravy recipe that is just out of this world at the end. Uh, that's another thing that we do. We make a really killer turkey gravy. So just go, go into the breast. Kind of inject all over. Got a little air in this time, so we'll get that out. You're going to put a lot of injection in this. This is a smaller bird, so I may probably am not going to need the whole three cups. Normally I'm doing 25 pound birds. So we may only need half of this today, but... Everywhere you can think of. This makes the meat just spectacular. Said. We've got a lot of people who eat my turkeys who say they've never liked turkey before. And this really changes their mind. A 
your spit jack set up right. This is a it can be a little tough to get a vacuum in here, as you can see. In this case, I may have something. Yeah, had a little something there on the end. You can filter that if you want. Usually, I haven't had to do that. You can put in one hole like what I'm doing and just go all around. The gravy recipe that we have for this uses something similar except we take 10 quarts of turkey stock from Kitchen Basics and 2 quarts of their vegetable stock and we reduce it down to 3 quarts approximately. So you're going to need a bigger pan and then you take a butter and flour to make a roux. When you're cooking on a smoker like this you're not going to have any drippings but if you cook it in the oven you'll, you'll have some drippings you can add back into the gravy. And then I add some Cajun seasoning to it and it's just a spectacular gravy. You could also add some of the pecan rub we're using. I'm going to be using on the bird today. That's another thing we're going to be using Simply Marvelous pecan rub. So we're putting a lot of stock into this bird. So it's, somewhat, it's going to come out, it's going to drip into the fire. That's all right because quite a bit of it will remain in there. putting a lot of injection in them there. Well, there's the first one that's come back out. I guess we hit the full point there. Alright, I think we've hit all we're going to hit on this side, so we're going to turn the bird over the rest of the wing parts down here. And this part right here can be trimmed off. I had most of the parts trimmed off. I hadn't got that one yet. So, so make sure you get your wings. Here we're going to use these for your and then come in underneath and get your thighs. Even though the thigh is usually a much moister meat, you still want to get some extra flavoring in there. And this really is going to be the flavoring it's going to change your mind forever on using on cooking turkey for Thanksgiving. You'll end up cooking it quite a few more times during the year once you start doing it this way. You can tell I'm a little messy. Normally I'm cooking in the room with the dogs and they're right there to clean anything up. so we get rid of that as much as we can. All right, we've gotten both thighs injected, the wings. Um, there is a little bit of meat back here, so we're going to inject that. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. It's just kind of like a little oyster-sized piece back there. 
that's very good to eat. If you haven't been pulling that off and eating it, you've been missing a lot. All right, turkey's injected. Um, there's not a lot of juice down in the pan. Now we're going to rub the turkey. I'm using Simply Marvelous Pecan Rub. Um, I like this, this stuff a lot. Use just about anything. I've used Cajun Rub, salt, pepper, garlic. Um, there's just about anything, but this is how we like our turkeys here. This is a fairly... I'm going to put this, this, this is a rub you really need a heavy coat. So you want to get it on there, pat it down. Make sure you're hitting all the parts here, even the armpits for the wings here. And flip it over. On the side. Make sure you're getting everything here. Like I said, make sure you get everything underneath. You want everything to taste good here. Turkey skin is a very nice thing when you got it. And even on the legs and everything else, you're going to be putting this into, even into your collard greens. Adds a lot of flavor to your collards. So make sure you get the seasoning there. And there we go. Like most guys who cook, we've made kind of a mess. But now we're ready to go on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Uh, we're going to reset the cameras and we'll be back shortly. And we're going to put the hooks up here. I want the legs hanging down, so we're going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to put the hooks here. I want this, I want the legs hanging down, so we're going to put the bow, the hooks up here through the cartilage and then back out and we'll show you that when we get out there. Thank you everybody. All right, everyone, we're back. Uh, the Gateway Drum Smoker's cruising at 300. Uh, we do have some wood in there. I put a small split of hickory in. I know a lot of people have been using chunks. I've kind of switched to splits here lately. Small ones, but um, I like the smoke flavor I'm getting with the smaller splits. Um, a few quick words before we go in. Um, Royal Oak is not sponsoring me, but I've been using them. Um, all last all all year, uh, the Royal Oak Lump. It's been very consistent. I really like using it. And for anybody that's in competition, you need something. It's very consistent because um, you don't want to be guessing what your charcoal is going to do every time you line up. Um, we're going to use a Maverick uh, Ready Check thermometer here with a remote uh, base unit and a remote unit, so I can monitor from upstairs. Um, we're not sponsored by Maverick, but they have given me some uh, free units to play with and try out. I want to thank Darren for that. Um, it's been a lot of help. Uh, really like the product so far. And I think we'll go from there. We're going to open this up. Like I said, we're cruising right at 300. Maybe just a hair over right at the moment. We're going to try and keep this as short as possible. Um, what we did with the hooks, there's an area right on the hooks there, or on the turkey. It's a little thin back in here. We put both through from the outside, uh, not from the inside, because we're going to have to stretch these hooks. Um, we did touch up the rub just a little bit for some areas that we lost. may need to touch it up again. So let's open it up, get the turkey in. Uh, once we get the turkey in, a little bit here. One on, then the other, and there we're going. It's hanging right in there. We're going to come back every 30 minutes and turn this and check and see how brown it is. Um, I think we're going to be able to go all the way through to the end without uh, foiling this and putting it on the rack. We'll have to see, but I think we're going to do just fine. So we may show you, we'll show you one of the turns but uh, we'll come back at the end and show you where we're going from there. 
You know, one of the best things about a gateway drum smoker is how well it holds the temperature. Um, cruising right about 300, just a hair over. This thing has been sitting there for the last 30 minutes that um, the turkey's been in, and it'll just continue to sit there. It's really nice feature. It's not hard to do. I mean, a lot of smokers have um, can be very difficult to maintain temperature. Uh, I've had no issue with this from the very first cook I've had. Um, today it's a little cool. It's 46 degrees. No wind today. But I've had no problems even in 30 degree temperatures and 40 mile an hour winds. So it's a great thing. Um, depends on you know what you want to do. You can I've remote um, monitor temperatures from inside the house so I don't have to babysit it. But there's days like today. It's nice and sunny outside. I'm sitting out here reading the latest Jack Reacher book from Lee Child, uh, drinking my bourbon and just watching smoke come out of the smoker. Um, it's a, gateways are a nice way to barbecue and still have a really peaceful day. All right, folks, we're back. We're right now, we're at 169 in the thigh on the ready check. Had to step inside for a minute and we came up real quick. We're going to pull this out and we're going to check the temperature and other parts of the bird with the Maverick PT-75. Going to pull this out first, just make it a little easier to uh, work with. And we'll grab them one at a time. Have to turn it, and it will come up. I think we're gonna scrape it up a little bit here. As usual, we only want to keep the drum open about maximum 30 seconds if we can get, get it that way. Um, I'm bring this over so you can see the bird a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. It's so nice and golden brown. And we're going to use the Maverick PT-75, just do a couple random checks. And it, we're 164.9, 165 exactly right in the middle of the breast, which is where we want to be. On that side, for some reason this side's a little higher, much higher. Legs are up around 208. I'm not worried about those too much because they're going to be using the collards. And so there you have it. Very beautiful turkey. Um, we'll get you some beauty shots. And I'm not going to teach you how to carve a turkey today. Um, there's plenty of videos out there for that.